Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. <laughs> Today I am here in my toddler corner um, and just sharing some of the babies that I don't share that often. Um, may have a little bit of a story time and give you guys the background of these babies because it's important that you guys know who they are because coming soon you guys will get to see them more, okay? Um, so first of all, let me just go through my whole spiel of make sure you hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me lots and lots of comments. I love comments. I love reading what you guys are thinking, what you have to say, what you want to see, what you want to know. I love those type of comments. I love, you know, I love just all your comments as long as it's not nothing off the wall crazy like you know rude type comments but anyway um if you're not a part of the chat box make sure you join there are two tiers there's a dollar and 99 tier which i like to call that that is my support tier where people are just wanting to support me um you get updates and videos and um the next tier is the next level, which means you're moving up to the next level, which is $4.99. That's where I do my live streams. Um, I do exclusive live streams, updates, uh, videos, a lot of content there that is not show shared anywhere else. Um, often I share like some of my, well lately, I just started it, so now I have been sharing like some of my babies, some of my private babies, some babies that's coming up. Um, sometime I will be doing from time to time a paint and chat with some of the babies that are coming up for sale. So, um, make sure you join that. Um, and also don't forget there's a super thanks on all the videos now where, well, not all the videos. Well, on this channel, on all the videos where if you want to tip or leave a super thanks, it's kind of like super chat. But it's super thanks that you can do on the videos. It'll highlight your comment and make everybody pay attention to your comment. Um, so there's that. And guys, when I share this information, it is just information. You don't have to partake in it. Um, this is definitely free content. I will always love everyone that follow my channel and subscribe to my channel. The Gym Pop is always, you know, the heartbeat of my YouTube channel. So anyway, let's get to the babies now. So Taraji is my toddler girl and Taraji is painted by me. Um, she is from the Mealy Sculpt um, by Ping Lao and she is, I don't forgot, I think she may be 31 inches maybe, I think, somewhere like that. 31, 32 inches, something like that. Um, she is on the original body that comes with the kit. Um, little Joey is on, uh, he is the same sculpt, believe it or not. Uh, look very different. He is the little star here. He is painted by Belira Baby. And he is also the Mealy sculpt on a custom body. And he has armatures to where he can stand with, you know, proper shoes on. He will be able to stand. Um, but as you can see, the difference in their size is very much different. So, um, Joey is definitely more like a fresh one-year-old. Wherein Taraji is more like three years old. So, um... Their size is very much different. Like her, his legs literally like pretty much almost stop at her knees. So so he's very much shorter than um, she is. So if she was standing, she would be really much taller than him. Um, I actually love how artists can be so creative and really change the way a sculpt look. Um, and then we have Elijah. And Elijah is the, um, Elijah is the, 
what is this called? Sandy kit by Joanna K. And he also have recently had armatures added. Um, he's painted by me. He, I just recently added armatures and he can stand very well. I actually learned that he can stand without his shoes on, but he definitely stands really well with his shoes on. Um, the difference in between him and Joey, the reason why Elijah can stand a lot easier and for longer periods of time by himself unassisted is because of the sculpting of the feet. Um, Elijah was sculpted to be a stand-in toddler versus um, Joey was not. And so he needs on his shoes the flat bottoms to kind of really balance him. Wherein um, Elijah's feet is kind of flat. His legs are straight and firm. And so it just, I don't know, I think it's just the structure that allows him to, like he stands so well. I love it. Um, but again, he is, as you can see, he's not as big as these two babies. So he's he's a very he's a preemie. He he's a preemie one year old. He was a preemie and so he is a preemie. Like uh let's see, maybe we're gonna say he's really about ten, eleven months, but he started walking early. How about that? We'll go with that. Um exceptional kid because preemies tend to do things a little later, but look at him, voila, he's fast, you know. We, all things can be done. Anything is possible. Um, now, the reason why he has on his Christmas pajamas is because mommy bought these pajamas and no baby could never fit them because the arms were so skinny. And he has little slim, petite arms. So he was able to fit it. And I was just showing it to him. And he was like, didn't want me to take them off of him. And I was like, but we got like two months before Christmas. So I don't know if he's going to wear these all the way into Christmas. But we're going to see um, if we can ever get them off of him. But he really likes those pajamas. And mommy really likes him in them. So we're going to let him keep them on. So Joey. Let's move back to Joey. So Joey father is uh, Joe from the movie You. I know that sounds a little creepy. Let's not say that too loud because, again, his dad is Joe. And so he likes good people and he likes helping good people. But when bad people get in the way, he has to remove the bad people. And we hope that little Joey don't have any of those traits. But he looks so much like his father. And he does do little things in the nursery that's kind of like his father. So sometime I'm missing a baby and I don't know where it ha where it went. And I don't know where it's at. And, you know, sometimes Joey's done little things. He doesn't mean to, though. He just wants to help. Like if they do something bad or, you know, I had to teach him that babies poop in their diapers. That's no reason to put them in a box. But Joey's like... Oh no, oh no mommy, he stinky diaper, he has to go into box. I'm like, no, you don't ship dolls off, be, or babies off because they poop their diapers because that's what babies do. So he's kind of just like starting to learn that. Um, today, Taraji went missing. I didn't know where she was. I got scared. Um, Joey is very protective over Taraji. He really loves Taraji so I didn't think he did anything to her but she is pretty quiet. She's a little non-verbal um, for the most part but she does little things and her mind wanders and although she sits downstairs in my living room and she likes to observe who's coming in and out of the house I think her daddy has put her up to that to make sure there's no one sneaking in in the middle of the night while he's not here. I don't know, but um, she, I went to check to make sure my Amazon package wasn't outside and there she was sitting on the porch. So she'd gotten herself outside the door and couldn't open it back up to get back in. So she was a little cold, but not too cold, but we got her back in. And so that's how Taraji is. So I just thought I would share a little background. Um, also, guys, just so you know, as you might have seen a short clip, Nikki volunteered me to take in a child um, that would be coming from Child Protective Services. 
Um, we have started getting information. We have started doing the home visits and all that stuff. And there's, you know, the background and all, you know, screening and all that stuff that we have to do. And that baby will be coming to live with us. Um, she is an older child. So, um, I will try to get her on camera as soon as I can. Um, we gotta, you know, work our way up to that because of course she is going to have a little bit of trauma from being snatched from her, you know, her home. So, um, I will tell you guys her name is Zaria and so we'll meet Zaria soon. Um, and that is about all that I have going on. Oh, and I'm expecting a little boy. So, um, that's going to take time. Uh, but I'll give you more information on, on that little boy at a later date. And that little boy already has a name. We have already decided on a name. And so it's just a matter of time. So, that is it. And, oh. So sometimes the little the little ones are over here too in their little basket. So that is um, Katie Lou. <laughs> that is Katie Lou and Piper down there, and they are they stay in the basket. The babies like to watch over the ba the the little ones. Joey is very protective. He's very funny about certain babies, and so. He doesn't like for me to move those babies. So that's why they're usually always there in that basket. So um, we'll talk a little bit more. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoy getting a little background information on my bigger babies. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.